we met at a workshop in 2006. Uh, Maria was part of an organization that promoted the idea that nonviolent resistance works. I was a doctoral student that was interested in the idea that violence worked, and uh, we had competing ideas. We sat down and came up with the project idea together. So at this workshop, uh, I was at the International Center on Nonviolent Conflict at the time, and Eric and I had great conversations. Um, and by the end of the workshop, actually, Erica had the table of contents for the book that we eventually wrote together on the back of a napkin. So it was a very nice and very productive workshop. We have lots of examples in our book of cases where nonviolent resistance has succeeded, even where violent insurgency hasn't, places like the Philippines, Serbia, uh, Iran, and other places. In today's world, you can imagine lots of places where armed insurgency has been going on for a long time, like in West Papua, uh, in Nepal, and in other places where it actually hasn't really advance the cause much, um, but then you see civil resistance actions building up and they look very promising. Yeah, and I would just say, I mean, in all the places where people continue to fight for human rights, continue to fight for uh, democratic governance, continue to fight for women's rights, environmental rights, the idea that civil resistance can be effective as a means of fighting for these rights is very hopeful, actually, for peoples all around the world. So whether it's in the Middle East with people struggling to, to, um, to achieve democracy in these countries or in places where human rights are being violated in many places around the world, um, I think it's actually a hopeful finding for what they're trying to achieve. I certainly think this award, with its incredible international visibility, really will help us to both to spread the word about uh, the strategic implications of nonviolent resistance, but also to justify um, having other researchers devote their time and energy to building a, a body of work around this topic. And from a, from a policy perspective, even though I should say in this interview that I represent my own views and not those of the United States government, but still, you know, working for the State Department, this is the, the primary uh, department in the U.S. government that focuses on how to prevent violent conflict. And so if you think about uh, civil resistance and the idea that it can be effective, more effective than armed struggle, this is actually something that's very important for policymakers. How do we help support nonviolent actors and movements, or at least not harm them? So it has actually a very important policy uh, ramification as well. For political scientists, the Grommeyer Award actually is the Nobel Prize because there's no Nobel Prize in political science. It's economics or peace, but the Peace Prize usually goes rightfully to, to people who are on the ground advocating for peace. So it does get that kind of visibility in political science that this is as close as you get to the Nobel Prize. Mm -hmm.